Hi, welcome to another video. So, I cover a lot of AI tools, especially the coding ones. But recently, I've seen people starting to use AI editors like Cursor, where you have AI integrations directly embedded inside the editor. But you know what? Cursor costs money. It's about $20 a month, and it can go up to $40 a month, with limits that are somewhat vague. I haven't used it a lot because I don't like paying for such stuff. I prefer being in control of what I use, what API I use, and mostly, I like to use open source stuff, so it can be easily audited by me and other users. But until recently, there wasn't anything that could compare to Cursor and be open source as well, but today, I have something that's just that. This time, it's Zed AI. First, let me tell you about Zed if you don't know about it. So, Zed is a code editor very much like VS Code, but it's claimed to be much faster and better. It's actually from the creators of the Atom editor, if you remember that. Anyway, this is a fully open source project, just like VS Code as well. It's also claimed to be much faster and more lightweight than VS Code. Recently, they've launched Zed AI, which is basically a major AI feature right inside the Zed editor. With the AI features, you can chat about your code with LLMs right within your editor. You can also generate code, ask it to edit code by understanding your code base, and stuff like that. This works best with Anthropic's Claude 3.5 Sonnet, but you can also use it with OpenAI, Gemini, and Olama for local usage as well. For now, you can also try it with Claude 3.5 Sonnet for free, because they're currently offering free trials with it, which is pretty cool. So, let's try it out, and I'll show you all the features it has. First, you'll need to get Zed installed. Once you have it installed, you'll see this interface. Now, you can basically do the same things you would do with VS Code, like creating new files, directories, and opening your project directory, and stuff like that. So I won't explain that. The major thing is the AI features. To use the AI features, just click this AI icon over here, which will open up this chat interface. Now, we can chat with the LLM, but before we do that, we'll need to set up the models we want to use. To do that, just click the models option over here. Now, select the configure option here. That will open up this page. Here, you can set up the models. The first option here is the Z option. This Z option basically is the Claude 3.5 sonnet that you get for free if you sign in with a free Z account in your editor. I've signed in over here, and you can see that this option is enabled. Apart from this, you also have the Anthropic option. Here, you can enter your own Anthropic API key and use models from Anthropic. You can also configure GitHub Copilot, Gemini, or OpenAI as well. You can also configure Olama here, where you can select your local Olama models and use them, which is really cool. Now, let me show you the features with the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model that they're giving for free. So, make sure that you've signed in with your Zed account and that this is enabled over here. Now, just create a file. The first thing you can do over here is simple chat. To open the chat interface, just click the AI icon and it will open. Here, you can do a bunch of stuff. You can obviously send simple messages and chat, but you can also add terminal output, code files, open tab data, and others. To do that, you'll just need to type a slash and you'll see a bunch of options. You can select any one, like the files option, to add a file to the context. Once you do that, you can chat about that file's context, which is pretty cool as well. So, you can do a bunch of stuff here, like asking about code and stuff. That's the basic chat. But the best feature is the code generation 
an editing feature. To open the code generation feature, just click this inline assist option here. This will open up the inline assist option. Over here, you can ask it to do whatever you want. You can ask it to generate, refactor, or edit the code. Let's first ask it to make a Minesweeper game with HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it over here, and as you can see, it's generating. You can see the code being streamed over here. And it's finally done. You can see the code that it has added over here. Now to accept it, just hit the tick option. OK, it's now added. Let's run it and check it. As you can see, this is looking pretty good, and it works pretty well, which means it's working fine. Now, let's also try to edit this code. To edit it, you can either go to one line or select a block of code to edit. I'm going to this line over here. Now, let's ask it to add a heading saying, Sweep King. Let's send the prompt over here, and now it's generating. And now it's done. You can see that it has now added the line over here. Let's run it and check. Here's the preview, and as you can see, the heading is now added over here, which looks pretty cool. That's pretty much how you can do code generation and editing with it. Now, there's another thing you can do with it. Use it for terminal suggestions. To use it for terminal suggestions, first open up the terminal inside it. Over here, click on this AI option. Now, you can ask it to generate any kind of shell command here, and it will generate it, which is also really cool. So, that's basically all the features you can use over here. I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's basically cursor, but open source. And you can use it with any kind of model you want, including local Olima models, which is pretty cool. Plus, currently, there's also the free Claude Sonnet model that you can use with it, which is also really cool and works well. I don't think there's any limit on it either, which is also really cool. One thing that's currently lacking is that it doesn't support autocomplete yet, which makes it a little hassle if you prefer that. But I think it might be added in the future. I don't use autocomplete that often anyway. But overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.